Okay, we're jumping back in. We've hit the 1100 mark. Still bronze, you know how it be. Maybe we'll just try hit silver today. When I used to play, I used to hit plat. I think I think I got plat as my highest. Tried to keep going, but uh, kind of got bored. All right, we probably play in second. Hand's not looking too great. Uh, he'd be summoning a raid raptor. That seems like a weird card to start with. Very strange. Cattle call. I'm very confused as to what's happening. Ah, oh, immediately ranking it up. I see. I see. Man, he's just going through the rank ups, hey. I hope he doesn't get to ultimate falcon, not gonna lie. Singing Lanny SP vibin. Can you attach a material from this card, special summon a level 4 from your deck? Okay, I'm guessing he just needed that in the grave. I thought it was still negated. Is it negated? No, it's not. Bruh, I thought it was negated. Oh, whatever. You can increase the levels of all Raid Raptors in control by one. You can banish this card out of Raid Raptor from deck to hand. What the f***? Yo, this card's cracked. This card is insane. I remember when I burst this at Locals. I just... I had to negate this card. I'm gonna go for the Veiler. On this dude. white streaks all my homies hate white streaks oh shit <laughs> what the f summon this how bruh I'm still trying to work out how the f Ultimate Falcon came out. Oh, yep, 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 yep. So Arsenal Falcon summons it out. Ah, oh, and it attaches to it. That's why I can't find it. It's under here. Hey, there you are, you bastard. All right, we made it. We made it thanks to the chat logs, the big logs in the chat. Wait, why did I take a thousand? Oh yeah, Ultimate Falcon has a burn effect, doesn't it? <laughs> That's so random. I think we win. Oh, well, not that we win, but I think we out Ultimate Falcon. Make all monsters you burn controls lose a thousand. Printing controls not inflict a thousand. Yeah, cool. Like, we just do engage things, and I think we're good. We get to Dragoon, we negate our own soul servant, and then I think we just beat over Ultimate Falcon, and it's job done. We summon the Tolkien. Kagari Tings. Yeah, Ultimate Falcon's just not as scary anymore, I feel. Uh, we could add Engage back instead. No, we can't. We can't. We don't have another fucking card to summon. Alright, we're gonna say this thing can't attack as well, because... 
Good lord, we are not beating over both of these things. Oh yes we are, we're getting to Dragoon, I'm so stupid. I mean, if this isn't effect Veiler, we're getting to Dragoon. Alright, we get 100 LP back, let's go. 100 LP, effects that don't activate, you love to see them. Alright, Link Spider. Easy clap. Anaconda. This is where he knew he f***ed up. No effect, Vela. We love to see it. What is with red eyes and being glued to our hand? I don't want red eyes in my damn hand. Alright, for one, we're gonna go Dragoon effect and we're gonna pop this. Cool. Next, we're gonna activate Soul Absorption. And we're going to chain our negate. Um, I think we honestly pitch Imperial Order at this point. Cool. Now we're strong enough to deal with this. So let's deal with this. And then we're going to get a draw off Soul Servant. I probably should have done that, but I mean, there's no rush. Wait, what? Destroy the attacking monster. What? Are you, are you okay, sir? <laughs> are, are you okay, sir? This is Dragoon we're talking about, sir. Alright, fair enough. I didn't read his card, he probably hasn't read Dragoon, let's be real. I did read his card, I made the effort to use my timer to read his card. Alright, main phase 2, let's fix this hand back up. And he's got no plays, I'm pretty sure, from now on. Oh, he can use his Raid Raptor Nest card. Well, that's good for him. We're gonna set Imperm here. And we're going to pass this. So I don't know if this card in the hand is going to be good. I'm hoping he opens. Like, I hope it's a monster and he just plays it. Just play it as a monster right now. So I can imperm and negate both your plays. And, like, that's the game. Please. 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 Don't start with the nest. Don't start with the nest. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. If he starts with nest, I go dragoon negate, right? And then he normal summons, I go imperm. So I guess it doesn't matter. Unless it's another spell another Raid Raptor's Nest. But surely this is just game. Oh! It's bad. It's that bad. It's not even a Raid Raptor. Surely your deck is like 90% Raid Raptors and then like the rank up spells and I guess Cattle Call. Oh, that's probably what it is. It's probably Cattle Call. Man is wasting three minutes of my life. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Does he think I, like, won't have a way to push for game? Sure. Send mana to graveyard. Then we will send this card to the graveyard. Yes, I would like to summon Deck Magician. This is the part where my mans does the big scoop. Why didn't he use this? Oh, he has to go- <laughs> I keep thinking it's Raid Raptors in the graveyard. Like, if there's two or more in the graveyard, there's two or more on the field. I'm so stupid. I was playing around a card that didn't even do anything. Bro, let me go to the battle phase. Let's just finish this. Do I BM him? What if this is Waking the Dragon? What if it's waking the dragon? Oh, I just negated. You got spells in the grave? We got spells in the grave. We overextending because why not? It's funny. Goes and match. There it is. Get that shit out of here. Alright, we're on 5k now. We can just swing the game. But we're gonna be rude and we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep playing even though the game's over. Sometimes you gotta do it to him, Yugi. You gotta flex on him. No, this was the wrong card to summon. Oh, it's fine. We can fix it. I was like, I can't make access now. No, we still can. We just do this. We really gotta flex on him here, you know? We gotta show him who's boss.
Look at all these links we have. Jesus, so many options. All right, let's hit the battle phase. We got two 5k beaters. What? Oh, what? What? Did you see that? I, I hit battle phase and I just... All right. I guess we're drawing. <laughs> what the hell? I held battle phase and then it just went straight to main phase two. Did I miss something? Did, does battle phase not happen this turn? Or did I just like click it again somehow? Did I somehow hold the button? For like two seconds again. Well, hopefully Imperm can deal with whatever this is, because uh I'm griefing, the game is over. Okay, cool, it's a set card. The game is over. Yeah, it goes and match ain't gonna help you now. Alright, we draw for turn, this can activate, and then we can negate it's it's still game. What target a raid raptor spell trap your grave out of your hand. Cool. I don't think that helps you. Yeah, I, I don't think that helps you. Big sorry. Oh, never mind. More grave effects. During the main phase, banish this card and a raid raptor. Target a raid raptor in the grave special summoner. Oh, shit. So, ultimate falcon? I mean, like, even ultimate falcon at this point isn't really that scary. Um... This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls. Okay. At the start of the damage step, this battles opponent's face up monster. Oh, its attack and defense become zero. That's pretty good. Let's wait for the attack declaration though, and then we'll flip in perm. Man, this card's actually pretty good. Wait, why is he activating this? He only controls one. Yeah, I don't know why he played this. No, please don't. Please don't attack me, Uwu. Unknown has targeted access. Bro, the game doesn't even know what this card is. Eh, yeah, battle step. Battle step sounds like a good time to flip in, bro. No. Nice effect, bro. Da, 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 da. Sheesh! Alright, let's get this right. Battle phase. Go! 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 Pew! 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 Hit him with the Dragoon! Yeet! Alright, game two, baby. I'm low-key scared of this deck. I don't know what to side. Probably just Nibiru. Because this shit is wild. Probably take out a cross out, probably take out Eagle Booster because we're probably playing second and probably like Salvation. I could even play Mystic Mine actually. Mystic Mine's probably good because it's got Ultimate Falcon. I can just be like, uh, I ignore Ultimate Falcon. Get rid of Imperial Order, get rid of Village and one more card. Probably just upstart, right? Let's f***ing go! Okay. Hand is cracked. The first three cards are amazing, and then the last two is just typical Dark Magician bullshit. <laughs> Tribute Lanius. This card, this card was in the anime a lot. Foolish Burial. You love to see it. I don't know when to Nibiru this deck, by the way, so I'm probably just going to do it when they hit five summons and pray it's for the best. Then I can't use my engage though. But if they're out the Nibiru, then I have mine and engage. I gotta look at it that way. Maybe the top deck will be Rod or Souls. I can always just crash my ultimate, uh, my Nibiru into his ultimate Falcon and play Mystic Mine. Have fun. This card good. This card good. Four streaks good card.
Man, he's got the triple set. So what's he got? Goes in match. Oh. That's a good draw. We didn't get to Nibiru, which is fine. So now we can just engage. If he has Imperial Order, it's gonna be pretty sad. This guy, Pain Lanius. This guy looks like it's in pain. Jesus Christ. This poor dude. I'm pretty sure he was meant to go way further in this combo than just this. Does he have like rank up cards he's gonna flip on my turn or some shit? What you got, Yugs? I was gonna bag this guy for having a picture of himself, but then I realized I have a picture of myself. <laughs> I didn't used to, but it copies a Discord picture. It's really annoying, actually. I don't want it to copy my Discord picture. I don't always have memes as my Discord picture, but I didn't for once. I guess I could grab Engage in case he has Imperm, but once again, if he has like Strike, it's shit. But you know what? Maybe I go for the Engage. Let's go for the Engage. Let's try to play it safe. Phantoms. Rap Raid Raptors, Phantom Knights, Claw. I forgot they mixed these archetypes. What the f? When a monster effect is activated, attach material from a dog, Z, negate it if you do this trade. Then, if the attached material was Phantom Knights or Raid Raptor, the monster you control gains attack equal to the straight monster's original attack. And what? And then he just searched. I have this card ascended the graveyard, add a ra Raid Raptor Fuzzy Lanius from your deck to your hand. This card doesn't look fuzzy at all, but sure. So cool, he just added another one of that. So this is probably the point where I just go, okay, okay. Mystic Mine. And he has to flip one of these two cards. There it is. Raptor's Gust, the spell trap is activated while you control Ray Raptor negated. There you go. Knew we had to have something. It was so sus. I was like, what is going on here? Um, we could go relinquished anima, grab this up and beat over this. I think that is my next play. Let's go from that. I'm gonna get mana in the bin. Yeah, I'd like to special summon this card. Bro, what the hell? Raid Raptors can't be destroyed by battle this turn. Also, if you have a Raid Raptor in your graveyard, banish this cover and go be taking damage this turn. Okay. Well, I guess we just suck it up anyway. I'm not sure why he chained that now, but like, sure. If you have a Raid Raptor in your graveyard, you can banish this cover and graveyard. You take no battle damage this turn. It's not the biggest deal. He's gonna do that. You take no. Why? Bro, what are you doing? You're just clicking buttons. There's no no reason to use that shit. Alright, relinquish anim are gonna be sucking. We grabbing this dude. Gimme. Ah. <laughs> ah! It only has a hundred attack. This is a mild problem. But you know what? Understandable. We played through like three negates. Like, I didn't think we were getting to a board state anyway after three macro. Mind you, one of this card sucks. This card seems really stupid. I mean, I guess it protects Ultimate Falcon. Wait, is Ultimate Falcon unaffected by it? Probably. This trap seems nuts. Raid Raptor's Phantom Knight's Claw actually seems really good. Raptor's Gust? It seems okay. It's okay. Being a counter, is it a counter trap? Yeah, counter trap's cool. This card's a counter trap. Oh, this card's actually kind of nutty. Alright, Mimi Cry, Lanius. Are they all just called Lanius? Yeah, there's all Lanius this, Lanius that. They're literally all called Lanius. Wait, he's going beep. What? Surely you have more plays than just go battle phase. At first I was like, this guy's cracked at the deck. Now I'm like, does this guy know what's up? Surely there's a rank 4 you can make here that helps a lot more than whatever this is. Okay. Surely this is not optimal. I don't know, Raid Raptors. I'm trying to read it real quick. It can increase the levels of all of them by one, so you can make a rank 5. This is in the graveyard because we'll send it this turn. Banish this. What? Oh, he's going main phase 2. Yeah, that's fine. Surely you do something here. 
Here we go. Add a rank up. This card destroy opponent's monster by battle. Add a rank up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Hopefully I can just Nibiru him while he's ranking up. He's only got one summon right now. That could change though. That could depth change. Fuzzy Lanius. So this just specials itself while you have a Raid Raptor, which is actually a pretty good card. That's really good because then when it goes to the grave, you get another one. Oh, that's actually really nice. Uh, I'm going on my phone to like in the bureau this guy. Okay, White Streaks is back. Strangle Lanius. If you control the dark, you can special- Bro, they can all summon themselves, I swear to god. You love that in an archetype, they just summon themselves. I was waiting for him to play the rank up card and then I'll just be like, Nibiru! No! Stop! Mimi Cry Lanius, Graveyard Effect. Banish this and uh, add one Raid Raptor from deck to hand. This deck's actually like, really nice. Like, their cards are really nice. Oh, it's waiting for me. Well, he knows I have Nibiru now, because I just waited. I'm surprised this man isn't going to time out, Jesus. This is taking so long. Dios mio. Madre fanculo. Man's literally going to time out. <laughs> He's dead. He's gonna die to the timer. I love to see it. All right, he's just passing because he ran out of time, I guess. I'm gonna summon out this DM. We don't have Rod in grave though. Oh, we drew Rod for turn. Huge, kind of huge, Yugi. All right, we go ahead and normal summon that Rod. What's in grave? Mana. Yeah, okay, we go for Soul Servant here, no worries. He gets all his time back just by passing turn. That's cringe, Yugi. Alright, Soul Servant things. I guess we're just grabbing Circle and getting that cheeky extra draw and seeing where we go from there. I could always go for Magician's Souls here. I feel like going for the Circle is just hot. Puts a bit of pressure on a fella. You got a rank up card, like, you're either flipping it or you're not. Come on, bro. I just want to draw two. There we go. Ash? Question mark? Hey. Red Eyes Fusion. That's alright. Anaconda gets negated. Cool. We'll slap this down next time. Easy clap. We got Nibiru as well, so we're golden. Wow, Circle didn't add a card. Crazy. Oh, I was like, why can't I extra deck? Of course, it's waiting for him to flip his rank up hard again. Uh, I'm just gonna summon this. I think I just make Anaconda here. Use Anaconda effect. He might do something, then I go Eternal Soul, summon Dark Magician. Alright, we got Anaconda. When we won't use we won't use Eternal Soul just yet. We can use the Anaconda effect first. Okay, he's going for the rank up. Oh shit. This is, might be where we get locked. So he's banished three. Yeah, I'm worried as to what he might summon, so I'm just gonna chain Eternal Soul. I'm not even sure if it's relevant yet, but let's just do it anyway. Alright, chain's gonna resolve backwards. I'm the turn player, so I get to trigger circle first. Let's read this. This card is exactly something you target one monster opponent controls, destroy it. And if it was face up, inflict damage to your opponent equal to attack and hat. Guessing he just pops out a condor. I think we just have to get rid of it with circle anyway. He still gets to kill Anaconda, which sucks, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We'll take the trade. We still go to battle phase and clap. Oh yeah, he gets to add another Fuzzy Lanius. Because why wouldn't he? Like, the deck is just going to keep on recycling. 
Alright, we go Battle of Flez. And we're gonna slap this dude right here. The Tribute Lanius. Because we don't want him to get any more rank up cards. No more rank up cards for you, please. Cool, cool, cool. Main phase 2. I'm just trying to play fast because this guy plays so slow as well. Let's get DM off the field with Link Spider so we can summon it back on his turn for an interruption. And we're gonna pass it there. Man, he has so many cards in his hand. That sucks. I guess, do I stop him from using Nest? Like, uh, this summons itself too. Uh, there's no way I can stop him from using Nest. He's just gonna, like, I can banish it, but I think it's a waste. Fuzzy Lanius. Um, you can banish the covering baby with Tugger King in your graveyard. Add it back to hand. Uh, that is a problem. Because he has the rank up spell. Oh, it's the Phantom Knight's rank up magic. Has to target a Raid Raptor. Is this treated as a Raid Raptor card? <clears throat> this is not treated as a Raid Raptor card. It's not a Raid Raptor card, but he can add back. He can add back the that one. So it negates a monster effect. I guess it's not that big a deal just yet. Raider's Wing. Okay, so he's going to try to make an XE and then detach from it to special summon that guy from the hand. So he's going to try and special summon Raider's Wing by detaching from an XE he makes, and it's not a quick effect. So I think the second he makes an XE, I just Eternal Soul and circle away the XE, and I think I'm good from there. I can also grab Rod back to the hand, so that's pretty nice. As long as I have the life points to not die. Which I think I do. I've got Nibiru, so I think I'm fairly safe. I could even just keep waiting and Nibiru him, actually. That's probably the better play. Especially because if he made a rank 4 there, that'd probably be the choke point. This card's really good, but I think I just have to let it go through. Alright, I can't Nibiru yet. I think I need one or two more summons. Wait, oh, he had a normal. Alright, this is going to be Nibiru time. Alright. Yeah, baby! That's probably going to do it. Pretty big token, but we can out it with Circle, Eternal Soul. We're pretty confident right now. Pretty sure we just win. Yeah, you target a Raid Raptor Spell Trap and you get it back. Cool. You don't have a Raid Raptor or Dark Xe out. I think you need a Dark Xe out to use that. Yeah, detach detachment hero from a Dark Xe monster. From one of your Dark Xe monsters. Setting some back row, so I think I'm gonna circle for a back row here. It might be a relevant one, but it could just be baits. Alright, we go end phase, we go Eternal Soul. Summon Dark Magician. Doesn't matter what position, we're just going to tribute it. Trigger effects, so we're going to go circle to banish. I'd like to chain rod as well, but uh, yeah, I have to target first. So we'll just target this. And we'll also activate rod. Salvage this card by tributing dark position. Cool, we hit the knight's claw. Drawing effect, fail of the turn. That's all good. Raid Raptor monsters. Raid Raptor monsters you can draw cannot be destroyed by battle. If you have Raid Raptor, if you have a Raid Raptor monster in your graveyard, you can manage this card. You take no damage this turn. Okay, that just makes our decisions a little easier. So sure, we're just not going to banish that, obviously. So we will use the Circle Banish on the Raid Raptor's nest. We will get it banished. I'm not really sure what he's thinking about here. Oh, he can use the effect. He can banish and take no damage this turn. Sure, we don't care. He survives another turn. Good for him. We could play. We could have played the ref, but I feel like we've just got so much going on. We've got Eternal Soul Circle, so we're actually going to abuse that, and we got Rod in hand, so we're we're going to be getting another draw. I think we're going to Soul Servant for. 
just like Magician Souls or something. Apprentice would be nice here, but whatever, we're not playing it. That took so long. Just activate the damn trap, man, come on. Alright, normal summon rod. Yeah, unfortunately I've run out of Link once to loop Dark Magician with. So <laughs> I'll have to make like Black Luster or Selene with him or something, I don't know. He's just bing chilling. If we don't get to Dragoon here, it'll be pretty awkward. But I think it'll be fine. Wow, that took so long. We finally got the card we wanted. All right, we're gonna stack probably just Magician Souls. Yeah, it's probably just Magician Souls. Bro, activate the damn trap. He's gonna time now. Cool, he just timed out. Easy clap. 